Libby Gill is one of those people who gets it. She has an amazing gift for boiling it down to some truths that people need to hear. It all starts with passion and a plan. For Carol, for you, for me, for all of us, it starts with that passion. There's a Buddhist proverb that says, if we're headed in the right direction, all we have to do is keep on walking. Passion is what points you in the direction. Your plan is the roadmap that guides you on your journey. And perseverance is what enables you to keep on walking. All right, so if you're going to have your specific goal, then ask yourself two questions. First question, are you passionate about that goal? Is it deeply meaningful? Does it really fit you? Do you care about it? It's for not me, a task. It's not just a task or a check. Right. It's not okay. an attack. And is it important? For years, I thought, I'm going to run a marathon. And then when I realized I couldn't run 26 blocks, let alone 26 <laughs> miles, I had no interest in that. I wasn't passionate. Uh -huh. So I switched my fitness goals and found something that addressed that idea of fitness, but in a way that was meaningful to me. And I decided, this is it. It's now or never. And I worked my way down the corporate ladder. I started in my 40s, started my own business, published my first book. I lost 25 pounds. And now five years later, I have a completely different life. OK, a couple personal questions, because you used to be a uh -oh. studio exec for Universal. Right. And I think you worked for Sony. I worked for Sony. Universal why'd you leave why'd you leave the entertainment business? Because I was at that point in my life where I thought, well, I worked really hard to get where I really don't want to be. Mm -hmm. And I went through this process myself. And that's what my book Traveling Hopefully was about. I decided this is not where I want to put my focus and energy. I have another mission. And it sounds sort of lofty, but I felt like I've got right. some place on the planet. And that was that served its time, but I wanted to move on. I wanted to work one on one with people. I wanted to help people find that success. Like it or not, we are all brands. So just get over it and decide if you want to define your own brand or have somebody assign one to you. Whether you are a small business owner, an entrepreneur, or a corporate employee, you need a personal brand that reflects your emotionally authentic self. Today we're going to talk about some specific strategies so that you can do just that, including clarifying your core values and purpose, creating a memorable message that you can use for any occasion. Learning how to use the media and not let the media use you. And finally, creating a brand plan for personal excellence and continuous improvement. Today is the day. Today is the day that you can abandon living in maintenance mode and jumpstart your dream. So what are you going to do in the next 24 hours to start running your life instead of letting your life run you? I challenge you to take that first step to start living your dream today. Thank you very much.